Good morning guys, uh, Anjani Kumar here, dealing instrumentation subject for final year electrical students. In the last session, we started error analysis, right? We discussed about uh, what are the theoretical errors in a, while doing the measurement uh, or from the instrument itself. So how many errors, how many theoretical errors? There are three types of theoretical errors. So what are this one? The first one is a systematic error systematic error and the second one is the first one is a gross error or whatever it may be gross errors and the third one is a random errors right? in a last session we discussed about all these things right so what is a gross error gross errors due to human mistakes right human mistakes so we can call it as a gross errors so what are the human mistakes there is carelessness uh, while taking the readings, right? And definitely it will read some error, right? And after that, uh, you don't know what type of instrument that uh, you are going to choose. So if you do that experiment, definitely you will get the result. But suppose if you want to measure, measure 10 volts, right? So for this, you have to take either uh, 0 to 50 volts instrument. You have, you have 0 to 50 volts instruments, 0 to 100 volts instrument, 0 to 200 volts instrument. Which one you have to take, you don't know which one is. Suddenly, blindly, if you take this uh, 0 to 200 volts instrument, definitely it will read an error. Error means limiting error is going to be increases if you choose uh, 0 to 200 volts. So, what if the best one is uh, 0 to 50 volts instruments you have to take. So, then you will get uh, less uh, limiting errors, right? So, if, uh, if the person he don't know what type of instrument uh, he has to take then definitely reads error that, that's not, that, that's nothing but human mistakes right and after that uh, what are the systematic error there are three types of systematic errors so what are that um, so those are um, so instrumental error so we discussed uh, in a last session I just want to remind you guys uh, instrumental error and after that uh, uh, observer observational errors and up to the uh, environmental errors. so these are you can call it as a systematic error right so gross errors means due to human mistakes instrumental errors means systematic errors means instrumental error observational error and environmental errors so what are the instrumental error instrumental error means means while you are using low quality instruments that means the substandard materials used in instruments so those type of instrument you see if you are taking the readings means definitely you get the errors so what are the errors what are the instrumental error you know limiting error all right and uh, guaranteed accuracy error loading error right hazing effect spring tension Oh, these are we can call it as we, we discussed uh, each and everything so what is a percentage limiting error if a manufacturer specifies fractional error or a, if a manufacturer specifies the percentage error so that we can call it as a percentage limiting error so limiting error which is having number of uh, uh, definitions right number of formulas to derive uh, percentage limiting error but suppose if you take the instrument uh, instrument this now uh, instrument of this kundi manufacturer the entry error on the specify chase and kundi so those type of instrument we can those type of errors we can call it as a percentage limiting error or else no chapter now and go instrument in the error on the so then we can call it as a relative error all right if a manufacturer specifies that error so then we can call it as a percentage limiting error if the user specifies that error, then we can call it as a, a relative error. All right, guaranteed accuracy means I already discussed about accuracy can be specified percentage of error, percentage of accuracy with full scale. That means I already explained, but some of the persons asked me, sir, could you please explain one more time? Guaranteed accuracy error and all these things. That's why I'm taking this class for this, right? But suppose. <coughs> I want to measure 5 volts. So this is my true value, right? I have an instrument, 0 to 10 volts instruments, right? Experiment chase say, I'll get the 4 volts results. So this is my measured value. So here, what is a full scale? 
what is the full scale full case full scale is 10 volts right full scale means this one maximum scale that is nothing but 10 volts right so what now what is an accuracy accuracy means deviation so what is the deviation 5 minus 4 that is called 1 percent so this is called error accuracy can be specified in percentage of error also right plus or minus 1 percent error is there all right this plus or minus 1 percent error you can explain two times two, ty two types so how you can explain there are two ways to explain this percent plus or minus error i will show you can explain plus or minus 1% error on full scale. That means what is a full scale? 10 volts. On full scale. So this error, it represents just the, this we can call it as a guaranteed accuracy error. Right? Percentage of accuracy error that can be expressed on a full scale. Now full scale low. Now error and tundi plus or minus one percent tundi while measuring five volts, right? Or else plus or minus one percent tundi for a measurement of five volts. You don't have any full scales. Only value that you are going to measure five volts. You measure just not na error and tundi plus or minus one percent. So this is called percentage limiting error, right? I already explained all these concepts, right? So one of the students asked me uh, about this thing. So that's why I'm clearly explaining you guys. I'll try to understand, right? And after that, so what is the loading effect? And some other person asked me, could you explain the loading effect also? So clearly understand. Loading effect is very, very important concept while, um, while doing the instruments, while measuring any, any quantity with the help of instruments, right? Right, but suppose, clearly explain what is a loading effect very very important right but I suppose I'll clearly explain with an example right I have a voltmeter I have a voltage right plus minus I have a two <coughs> two resistors right R1 R2 alright so this is my load right alright I want the voltage across R2 across R2 how you can find out the voltage across R2 by applying the KVL itself so KVL apply the same current will flow na? same current will flow na? so what is my P present V is equal to this is the voltage V1 this is the voltage V2 V1 plus V2 right so what is the V1 I into R1 na? so what is the V2 I into R2 na? so from that what is I V by R1 plus R2 na? any doubts now you have to find out the voltage across R2 right so what is the voltage across R2 so that is V2 so V2 is equal to I into R2 right so what is the value of I V by R1 plus R2 into R2 right now the load is R2 so what is the voltage across R2 so you are finding the voltage across R2 voltage across the load now what is that voltage V2 is equal to V into R2 by R1 plus R2 so this is actually the formula based thing if you want to measure the voltage across the load so this is a formula that is called voltage divide and rule all right now we don't have these type of uh, mathematical calculations right you have an instrument right so you have you have an instrument right you just uh, connect that, that instrument across r2 then you will can easily find the voltage across r2 right now i have an instrument so that instrument is called voltmeter so i'm connected the voltmeter I connected the voltmeter right so this is a voltage given total voltage so this is R1 and this is R2 right R1 R2 now I don't have to I don't have to go I don't want to go for all formula based things I just have a voltmeter you just connect the voltmeter here 
so this is a voltmeter so this voltmeter because we are dealing in instruments so you have to measure anything with the help of instruments itself right so if you want to measure the voltage across r2 directly connect the voltmeter and the voltmeter reads the voltage across r2 right but each and every voltmeter that it has some internal resistance na so you have this voltmeter which is having some internal resistance so that resistance is rv right so that resistance is rv now we will see you are finding the you just want to find the voltage across r2 but what is the voltage that the instrument measures what is the equivalent resistance these two are in parallel na so what is the voltage equivalent resistance this is the voltage right so what is that voltage r2 rv by r2 plus rv r1 voltage that means you are measuring the voltage across this resistance not r2 right so you are measuring the voltage across this equivalent resistance not the r2 so this condition this error we can call it as a loading error in a instrument so this is the overall concept of a loading but you just want to find the voltage across r2 but while measuring the instrument you are not finding the voltage across r2 you are finding the voltage across r2 into rb by r2 plus rb so that means it shows some error the difference the deviation error the definitely you will get an error so that the error is called we can call it as a loading error so this is actually the concept of loading error so almost uh, three or four members asked me about uh, this loading effect so that's why i'm taking the class again to explain the concept of loading error right and uh, irregular spring tensions up to that uh, uh these are uh, irregular spring tensions these are instrumental error right that means uh, not uh, and uh, irregular spring tension due to the easing effect uh, uh, if the instrument which is having we are using that instrument from much longer definitely that instrument reads a uh, error value right uh, these type of errors we can call it as a instrumental error and after that uh, we discussed about environmental error that means environment condition also uh, my instrument uh, reading an errors right so what are that uh, instrumental error what are that environmental due to the humidity due to the temperature external magnetic field stray magnetic field stray electric field with the help of these thing also my instrument will reads an errors right so in order to avoid this you have proper shielding of the instrument so that we can call it as a Uh, environmental error what is meant by observational error observational error means parallax error parallax error means you have to take the readings perpendicular to the pointer so each and every instrument that it has some glass fitting na so glass fitting after that you have a readings all right if the pointer stays here directly you have to you have to take the readings perpendicular this point this is a glass fitting right you have to take the reading perpendicularly if you show from left side you'll get another result if you show from if you take from right side you'll get another result so that thing is called observational error that is nothing but parallax error right if you avoid this error you have to take the readings perpendicular to the point itself right and after that random errors right very very important concept random errors means you don't have any reasons right you don't have any reasons about these errors you just want to neglect these errors but uh, there is no mathematic there is there is no theoretical approach to solve these type of errors right you have to reduce this error not only purely eliminate it you have to reduce this error only and what type of reduction can be done by statistical analysis only right statistic with the help of statistical analysis you have to reduce this error you don't need to you, know, you just uh, you don't have any choice right you don't have any right to eliminate this uh, errors right so in the next class we'll discuss about what is a statistical analysis of a random errors this is very very important concept so you have uh, lots of formulas 
right uh, around 10 to 12 formulas you have to buy out these formulas with that we'll solve one problem and uh, with that uh, we'll completed this error analysis concept so i think i hope it's clear for uh, the persons who raised their doubts raised doubts and uh, thank you very much in the next class we'll start statistical analysis of random errors thank you very much